What's going on, socialites? Ryan here, Commissioner, the Global Pokemon Society. Just giving you a quick recap on the Draft League post week six. So, pretty, pretty much this was a week where things kind of stay in status quo. A, a couple interesting things that we'll uh, talk about real quick, though. So, the teams that were undefeated remain undefeated. As you see at the top, Denver, 31 points. Boston, Closing in, though, now tied with Memphis, uh, both with 30 points, so right behind Denver. So this next week, they could overtake them. We'll have to see. Vero and Pittsburgh get back to their winning ways, both 5-1. and one. Vero um, keeping that lead with the differentials there, 19 points as well. Setting up a real important showdown against Memphis in the last week, so... If both of these teams continue to win out and then Varos can sweep Memphis, they it doesn't matter differentials, they will hop over Memphis because they got a uh, extra game win in their loss. So it could be pretty key there, something to look at. Tokyo keeps winning. Uh, we'll get to Reggie Gigas in a little bit. You might look over to the right and see what I'm talking about there. Oklahoma keeps winning. Black City takes another loss, losing to Oklahoma this week. So they they lose two in a row, but still in a solid position. They just got to get like maybe a couple more wins. PSG lost to Denver, so they fall a little bit. Charm City finally gets back in the win column. It's been a couple weeks for them, so they're back at it. Drift Veil, Dragapults keep up the pressure keep winning so that's good they at one point remember i think they were one in three so they won a couple in a row el paso gets a win to move back up to three and three or actually no they lost this week they were three and two so they lost waco gets a win they haven't had a win in quite a while so they need to start getting that we'll take a look at uh the schedule again real quick but yeah other than that all these other teams losing bunch of losers nah just kidding so let's scroll back up here and we're going to take a look at the right hand side and look at our top 10 pokemon you see up at the top reggie gigas catapults up to the top spot 20 ko's really impressive porygon z hasn't been getting much work in lately so it's Still in second place though with 18 KOs because of how well it was doing in the early part of the season. Zapdos for Waco and Sandaconda for Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's got two back to back there. Sandaconda with 15 KOs and Calyrex Shadow Rider with 14. You see Lavender Town despite not being able to beat anybody. Landorus is still doing all right for them as a pickup. Uh, Metagross hasn't gotten a KO I think in like two or three weeks now. PSG has a couple Pokemon on there. The Legendary Dogs, Entain, Suicune, and then Driftvale City, Dragapults, Dracozolt, rounding out the top ten. So definitely going to be interesting to see who remains up there for the best performing Pokemon, who might be the season MVP. I mean, Reggie Gigas is making a big case. Sometimes you don't have to be on a team for the whole season to get the MVP. I remember season three, Urshifu Rapid Strike won MVP and it only played in six games, but it got 14 KOs and didn't die at all and ended up uh, running that all the way to the championship that season. All right, so now let's take a quick look at the schedule here. this thing out of the way a little bit doing it live because I'm lazy so strength of schedule stuff uh, Tokyo actually has a pretty tough schedule going on the rest of this season so we'll have to see how the defending champ goes for that Oklahoma of course still pretty tough Slateport schedule gets even easier look at that a 0.14 crazy but yeah pretty much 
we're just going to be rounding out these last couple of weeks. Uh, week 7, some key matchups. We spoke about Oklahoma going up against the Pittsburgh Poltegeist. That's a good matchup. Uh, Pittsburgh bounced the undefeated Oklahoma out of the playoffs last season. Uh, I'm interested in the Vero Beach and Black City Zekrom matchup. That should be a good one as well. So those, those are kind of the two that I'm looking at for the key matchups this week. I think those will be uh, some fun matches for sure. So yeah, just a, just a quick update, guys. So let me know how you're enjoying the season. Uh, what team are you rooting for to take the trophy? We'll go back to the standings real quick. Who do you think will uh, get this wild card spot? Like, what teams do you think will be left out of the playoffs here? Because you see there's quite a few teams around that 2-4, and 3-3 three and three sort of mark. Uh, they'll be the ones fighting for those last couple of playoff spots. But thanks, guys, for joining me for a real quick session. As always, stay classy, society.